talking about how to love and, uh, and things that you do and, and how you operate with that. Because how many of you know that we need to be taught how to love others? Yes. Yes. Come on, just shake your hand yes. round and round. Yes. It is hard to love some people. Yes. You ever meet somebody who's hard to love? Oh, yeah. Every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quick nitpicking. Uh huh. Oh, Write it down. Yes. Quick nitpicking. Right. Oh, Quick nitpicking. You want to know how to love? Quick nitpicking. Find <laughs> nitpick this way. Yes. This is to be concerned with or find fault with insignificant details. May God add a blessing yeah. to the reason yeah. what the dictionary says. Yeah. Yeah. To be concerned with or yeah. find fault with in significant details. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Some of you say, well, no, no, no. What they, that, what they <laughs> did is not insignificant. That yeah. fault, that weakness, that sin, that issue, that's not insignificant. <laughs> Compared to the fact that when we all leave here today, we've got a devil to fight. Amen. Compared to the fact that when we all leave here today, we're on Satan's hit list. Yeah. Compared to the fact that when we walk out of these doors, there's an enemy out there like a warring lion seeking to devour and spread. Yeah. That we've got to face demons in, in, in our houses, on our jobs, and schools. Compared to those facts, a fault is an insignificant detail. Love covers. Quit nitpicking, ladies and gentlemen. Quit nitpicking. Come on. It, it's giving us a bad rap as Christians. Just stop it. Quit nitpicking. Quit nitpicking. Quit nitpicking. The Bible says that when you have an issue with somebody, the Bible says go to them privately. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Go, go to them privately. And, and, now, and if they recognize their wrong, they said, now cover with love. Now cover with love. And here's the thing. Somebody had to do that for you before. Yes. Isn't that good? Somebody had to do that for you before. Just like Christ accepted you, you ought to accept other people. Somebody covered you like that before. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans 14, 13. It says we must stop judging others. We must also make up our minds not to upset anyone's faith. Watch this. We must stop judging others. We must also make up our minds not to upset anyone's faith. This paraphrase from the Message Bible says, forget about deciding what's right for each other. Here's what you need to be concerned about. That you don't get in the way of someone else making life more difficult than it already is. And that's what nitpicking does. It just makes life more difficult for other people. And as Christians, what happens is that when we nitpick and when we find fault, when God says, listen, cover the faults with love, what happens it stands up. It messes up people's faith, y'all. It messes up people's faith. How many people have left the church? Anybody ever leave the church before you was in church? You left for a while? Amen. Somebody jacked up your faith. Now, there is some, something in there. Perhaps somebody was nitpicking and judging and finding fault instead of covering with love. And it stood in the way of somebody else's faith. Don't make life more difficult than it already is. Yes. That's what happens when we don't cover with love. We make people's lives more difficult. Um, and his new book uh, is a new book that he's writing about Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, Tad is smiling. I'm sure many of you know him. He's a TV personality. Yes. Yes. He's writing a new book about Martin Luther King Jr. He says that in the final years of his life, everybody turned their backs on him. Nobody wanted to see uh, uh, be seen in public with him as far as public officials and politicians. They didn't want to be seen public with him. Wouldn't sit down and have a meal with him. And Tom Smiley says, and it opened up the door for him to be assassinated. And that's what isolation is. It opens up the door for people to be assassinated. Now I'm not talking about a gunman standing somewhere and trying to shoot you. No. Life has a way. With these spiritual darkness. Life has a way of trying to assassinate every believer. Two is better than one. And what happens is you cannot hate so much, ladies and gentlemen, that you won't cover with love and you would be willing to have somebody be assassinated. 
by sickness, disease, depression, oppression, anxiety, stress. You teach him, Pastor. Teach, teach, teach. You don't, I'm sorry, you don't hate that much. If you've got the love of God on the inside of you, then that should exude from your pores. Yes. I don't care what they did, what they said, how bad they talked about you, how bad that they lied on you. Shoot, some of the stuff you did was true. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Just lay my all on the altar. Come on now, I come uh, boldly to the throne of grace saying, God, I need it. Come on now. Some of that, y'all know that's the truth. Some of that stuff, they, they say you said, you said it. You don't always need to hear somebody say, life is tough, so you've got to be tougher. Sometimes we may need that, but most of the time we need someone to say, life is tough, so I'm going to be your friend. Life is tough, so I'm going to be your friend. Life is tough, I'm going to be your friend. Life is tough, I'm going to cover you. Life is difficult, I'm going to cover you with love. The, the God kind of love, the God kind of love. I, don't, don't worry about your faults, don't worry about your weaknesses. Uh, you know you was wrong, I know you was wrong, but we just going to pray. At Finish the Church, we do five things. We talk about it. We pray about it. Yes. Glory to God. On, yeah. We talk about it. Pray, pray about, about it. it. Forgive. Cover. Move on. Yes. Amen. Talk about it. Amen. Pray about it. Forgive. Cover with love. Move on. Yes. Talk about it. Yes. Talk about pray it. about it. Pray about it. Forgive. Forgive. Cover, Cover with love, yes. and then move on. That's the love of God. Yes. That's the love of God, yes. ladies and gentlemen. That's the love of God. Glory to God. Uh, everybody has their things that they do, but we've got to say, I'm not going to uh, hate on you or not show you love just because mm -hmm. you're a little strange ways. Mm -hmm. Strange ways, strange decisions. Earl Wilson said this. He says, one way to get high blood pressure is to go mountain climbing over molehills. Yeah. <laughs> one way to get... You don't have to resent people, ladies and gentlemen, based on what they do. You don't have to resent people. If you hold resentment in your heart at the oddities of others or because they didn't do what you wanted them to do or act how you wanted them to act, your life will become intolerable. You're giving yourself high blood pressure. You don't have to go around stewing about it every time someone upsets you. What can you do? You can forgive them. You can cover their weaknesses with love. Amen. How to love? Quit the picking. Cover with love. We're going to talk about other ways how to love the next few weeks. So let me give you this last one. Let's move on in Jesus' name. And you can go home. You've been blessed by this so far. Yes. yes. There's always the door of forgiveness should always be open. Right. I'm learning that, right. mothers. Yes. You know, yes. the door of forgiveness should always be open. And let me tell you the really tough thing. Can I, can I just be real for a second? That when people mess you up, it's hard to have that first conversation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it's very difficult. Because say, God, how do I do it? Mm -hmm. How do I open up the door? Yep. Yep. How do I do it? It's still <laughs> one from the book of Nike. Amen. Amen. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Send a note. Send something. Just do it. And guess what? The simplest thing that you can do is just say this. I love you. Uh -huh. I love you. Think about it. You, you don't have to say nothing else. The word will work if you work it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Love one yes. another. Yes. So I'm letting you know I love you. I love, I love you too, Pastor. I love you. <laughs> yes. Amen. 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 Amen.